the Mother Lodge. You're so lucky you get to see my like early morning face. Look at me, sniffly, freezing cold. But um, I'm at the Sun Temple. I was here yesterday actually, uh, not to pray or anything or to worship Satan, but uh, this is where uh, yesterday there was a talk by Ian Crane and Patrick Henningsen. And you never guess what, my windproof microphone thing lost the windproof bit already. I'm sorry. It's um, a bit weird yesterday actually. We, obviously, Ian Crane, Patrick Henderson, the talk was really cool. It was about Balcom and it was about. Um, Syria, Patrick Henningsen giving some seriously cool information about Syria. And uh, at the time when it was happening, it was in the Connaught Rooms, which is just around the corner from, uh, it's on the back of the Sun Temple. But uh, at the same time, there's like, a, there's like a thing going on for London Fashion Week in the, in the Masonic Temple, Fashion Scout. And uh, they sort of had a catwalk in the Masonic Temple across the road. <laughs> Gotta get some sun. So I'm going down to the High Court. It's just gone 10 minutes to 9. Um, hopefully there's going to be quite a few people down there. Maybe not for 9 o'clock. There's a case basically in the High Court today to work out whether <laughs> to work out. To basically try and ban the uh, protest at Balcom. So I'm going to go down and hopefully well, I hope there's a big turnout, but I hope the turnout's not so big that I can't actually get in the, uh, the actual courthouse because, I, you know, I want to go in the courthouse. Some more of these fashion bots. So, uh, yeah, see how it goes. Weird Illuminati clothing. Quite a few people here. Very noisy. Right, JCB, taxis. Quite a few people here, but actually, there's lots of mainstream media. But uh, mainstream media actually not here for uh, the Balcom thing. They're here for a case about Mark Duggan, uh, the guy that got shot by the Metropolitan Police and started the London riots. A few people here for Balcom. I saw Ian Crane. He's already gone in to uh, get a decent seat. I'm probably going to follow him quite soon, even though it's only about half past nine. But I'm going to go in there anyway. There's a few people turning up for uh, Balcom. Uh, Morris is here as well. Where's Morris? Not quite sure. He's over there, look. Good old Morris. Do you see him in the background? He's hunting like a wily fox for interviews, sound bites, and uh, he's a true media professional, unlike me. And uh, look at my face. Still tired, still freezing cold. And I'm going to go and listen to some legalese.
there's a whole series of them through the autumn, and uh, basically I think they were hoping so there's Ian behind me doing his thing to uh, somebody who's live streaming actually for um, for the, the the Mark Duggan thing who are going across the uh, to stopping all the traffic asking for justice from the Royal Courts of Justice and uh, strangely enough it seems that some kind of justice actually happened in there as, I don't even know what time it is now yeah look Look at that, uh, just check out the Illuminati clock and that'll tell you uh, what time it is. So be, been in there for really quite a long time and uh, I'm not sure if I'm allowed to quote from the judge but I'm going to do it anyway. As soon as the, uh, the, cat, the man from uh, West Sussex Council stood up and asked for his eviction order, uh, the judge basically said to him, doesn't seem that you've got your tackle in order, she said. She used the word tackle, and I don't know she, whether she meant balls or whether she meant like fishing tackle or, or, or a rugby tackle. I'm not really quite sure, but she said that the council's tackle were not in order, and she basically just said, what are you doing here? So it was a massive victory. Uh, they were trying to get rid of the Balkan protesters before the 28th of September because that's when the lease uh, runs out, the license runs out for drilling and uh, the, uh, the the agreement basically that was just took place in this courtroom is that uh, the council can't get rid of them before that date so they're going to be basically stopping all of the drilling, uh, ex exploratory drilling in Balkum until next year, till next February or next uh, January or whatever it is. So a victory and a mild semblance of justice at the Royal Courts of Justice. This is Sam reporting from the Royal Courts of Justice. Thank <laughs> you. 